Here we are again. Uh, as user request, we are going to do some self key genning today. Um, later down the road, I'm going to find a real life program out there that's probably going to be ancient, uh, just so that nobody's going to complain about it. Um, and we will uh, do a self key gen for it. But for now, we're going to do it with this crack me. Uh, if we run this crack me, it asks for a name, and it has something blank, we assume it's a serial, click check, nothing happens. If you do put the right stuff in, the text turns green. Alright, cool. Let's open that up in Ollie, and let's uh, right click, search for names, and here we're going to see things like string compare, string length, um, sprintf, get dlg item text a, which isn't always reliable in the real world, but in crack me's it's almost always used. So let's focus on string length and string compare because they're most likely being used. Um, now if you're using Ollie version 1.10 you can right click and do set breakpoint on every reference of this command. But here uh, you have to go find references and do it yourself. So let's F2, F2, do it again for string compare, F2, and let's go ahead and run that. Now, if we were to go ahead and type something in and click check, we see that we land right after get GLD or DLG item text A. Uh, it was getting our serial that we typed in. If we look above it, we see the real serial. If we look below it, we see the real serial. Here at this length, it's actually getting the length of the serial we just put in. Now, on this line, it's going to store that value at this address here. Now, it's going to push our real serial grab the length of that, compare the two lengths, if they don't match it's going to jump out and since they don't match it's going to jump out. Um, if they did match it would compare our serial with the real serial here and then it would do an OR on EAX because this is going to, if they didn't match, uh, actually let's make this true, let's go ahead and I'll show you. Check. Okay, it lands here does length, did a compare, it's jump if not equal, we're going to double click the Z, jump is not taken, pushes our serial, pushes the real serial, compares the two, now if you look at EAX, it's negative, it's FFF, um, that means they didn't match, so it doesn't OR, and that tells it to jump out and not turn green. So, uh, we don't actually need any of this, uh, and we're going to let it do the good stuff, so let's get rid of the jump, um, get rid of the compare, get rid of the lengths, and we're going to keep the get item text A. Um, I'll show you why in a minute. Um, we're going to edit and fill with NOPs. Again, if you're using Ollie version 1.1, one zero, it would be right click and then binary edit and then fill with NOPs, I believe. Um, so now we have lots of room to work with, but we're not actually going to need any of it uh, because all the room we need is right here. Uh, get DLG item text A uses the same structure as set DLG item text A. The reason I know is I looked it up. Here we see that it uh, needs a window. It needs an integer value that tells it which uh, item, and then it needs a string. Um, in set DLG or in get DLG item text A, it does an offset to store a string, the item, and the window. Of course, uh, these are backwards because they are pushed onto the stack and then taken off in the correct order. So all we need to do is change this offset to the string that we want to output. Well, here's the serial. Maybe that sounds good. Let's go ahead and grab this address here, copy, and paste it here. And now we see that it is going to push out our serial. Now, of course, we need to change the call. And for now, uh, all we have to do is type in user32 dot set dlg item text a and Ollie being magical 
it will go into user32, locate it, and type in the correct address. There we are. Um, this, if we were to save this, which, let's go ahead and do that. Let's go copy all of our modifications. There we go. And edit, copy to executable. Yes. Let's save it as gen. Um, if I were to run this and type in my name, it would output a serial and turn the text screen because we told it to. Now if I run the original and put in Frank and the serial we just generated, it turns green because it's good. Um, but if I were to send you this generator, there's a chance that it wouldn't work because uh, when you use Ollie to grab the address like that, it gets it for my user32.dll, which, uh, again, like I said, there's a chance that my user32.dll's address for set DLG item text A is different than yours. So I would have to, uh, inside of the code with all those NOPs that we had, um, grab an address that we knew of user32, uh, calculate the difference from set DLG item text A and then inside the code grab that address and subtract the difference or add the difference whichever I need to do um, to that and then I'd be able to call that address. Uh, you probably didn't understand any of that but that's for another tutorial. Today was just self key genning and that we have accomplished. So. Uh, thank you for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And uh, emphasis on that last one there, subscribe. Yeah, subscribe. Do it. Uh, tell your friends to do it. And then after that, let's work on that rate thing. Yeah, everybody click that You know, fifth star. Starting from the left, there's one, two, three, four, five stars. Kind of like this. One, two, three, four, five stars. Click that fifth one right there. Yeah, yeah, just, just go ahead. Yeah, uh, thanks. All right, I knew you were going to do it. Anyways, talk to you later.